Yes, that's right. The Quack Attack is back. Back. Now, according to Disney, they are currently filming Mighty Ducks, the series in Vancouver, Canada, and it is starring none other than Emilio Estevez as the great Coach Gordon Bombay. He's also back and executive producing it as well. Not to mention the original writer, Stephen Brill, has returned as the writer for the Mighty Ducks series. Now, just for the fact that Emilio Estevez is returning as Coach Gordon Bombay and it has the original writer, I am already hooked. Now, as somebody who grew up playing lots of sports, very competitive and actually internationally at the age of 13, I was a huge fan and could actually relate very well to Mighty Ducks. And I'm very stoked that they are bringing it back. Now, the Mighty Ducks show will be exclusive to Disney Plus and consist of 10 episodes for the first season. Now, other than Emilio Estevez, none of the other original cast is returning as of right now, but that doesn't mean they won't return in future seasons if there are some. Emilio Estevez had this to say, Once a duck, always a duck. And after 25 years, I am delighted to lace up my skates, put on Coach Bombay's jacket, and return to play the iconic character for the new chapter in the Mighty Ducks franchise. Likewise, I am thrilled to return to my old stomping grounds with my friends at Disney and Steve Brill, the original creator of the franchise, to join them on their exciting new platform, Disney+. Plus. Now, the show is going to have a very big twist. According to Emilio Estevez, it actually takes place in present-day Minnesota. The Mighty Ducks have evolved from scrappy underdogs to an ultra-competitive powerhouse youth hockey team. After 12-year-old Evan, played by Brady Noon, who you may remember from Boardwalk Empire, ends up getting cut from the Ducks. He and his mom, Alex, played by Lauren Graham, who you may remember from Gilmore Girls and Bad Santa, set out to build their own ragtag team of misfits to challenge the cutthroat, win at all cost culture, competitive youth sports. With the help of Gordon Bombay, they discover the joys of playing just for the love of the game. Yes, that's right. The name The Mighty Ducks has basically become The Hawks in a little twist in the plot. Now, The Hawks were considered the bad guys of the first Mighty Ducks movie. However, as somebody who came from a heavy sports background and even, again, played international sports, I really don't understand the concept of calling a team bad for simply wanting to win all the time and being synonymous with winning and just always wanting to win and always wanting to be the best that they can be. However, the problem that I've always seen with the Hawks is that they lack a couple of things. One, sportsmanship. They have some of the worst sportsmanship I've ever seen. They go around bullying other teams. Now, yes, I could understand if they were picking on the teams that were in second and third place because that's just kind of some common rivalry. I know a lot of people who didn't play high competitive sports aren't really going to understand that, but it's a very competitive thing to be up against one another. And that doesn't necessarily mean you hate each other. It's just you guys, you know, you're being rough with each other just for the fact that you're very competitive with one another. It's just a sports kind of thing. And it's not really to pick on each other. It's just very competitive. For some people, it's actually be kind of hard to understand that, that didn't play sports or just don't have that kind of concept in general. Just because you pick on something doesn't mean you hate them. You know, sometimes it's just a sports competitiveness. It's one thing to shut them out in a game 10 to nothing. It's another thing to go out of your way and bully them in the streets when they're not even in second or third place. They're in dead last. This is a team that you really shouldn't pick on. And if you really just want to be that engulfed in yourself, just ignore them all together and beat them on the ice. That's all you really have to do because beating them 10 to nothing in a shutout game where they end the game because you're ahead by 10 points is embarrassing enough. They don't need to be picked on afterwards. So in that sense, if you want to consider that bad, then yes. But don't don't consider them bad for wanting to win all the time and being happy that they're thriving and coming in first place and always taking that win because there's nothing wrong in that. There's nothing wrong in winning. But again, there is something wrong in their heavy lack of sportsmanship. And yes, I know there's going to be a bunch of people out there that are going to go ahead and start saying how, oh, this is stupid. They would never become the bad guys. This doesn't make any sense. Now, again, this coming from somebody with a heavy, heavy competitive sports background it actually does make a lot of sense. And I really do like this twist because when you take a name in order to compete against somebody and what happens is that team becomes so good, it gets taken over by somebody who sees them as basically somebody saw the Hawks as a team that wanted to win, who always won, who built up that ego and overconfidence that they take this name and it's just a name. It's not the engulfed Ducks. This isn't the original Ducks. This is the name. And that name has now become what the Hawks were, right? So basically they have thrived from 
nothing to become so powerful, so strong, so full of themselves to the point that, yes, the people on the team of the Mighty Ducks now are the people who would have been on the team of the Hawks, essentially. And that name is now synonymous with winning, the same as the Hawks were. So it's actually a really good twist. And I was always wondering when I was younger, to be honest with you, what would happen if they had just blown up so bad and they got in these egos and they became what they hated the most, which were the Hawks. But I guess we're about to find out later this year. Now, one of the biggest questions I have is, will they be called Mighty Ducks? Or is this gonna take on a Cobra Kai-esque style where maybe some things get switched up in the end, such as maybe we'll call them the Hawks. And now the Hawks are the good guys and the Mighty Ducks are the bad guys. I know a lot of people are gonna hate that idea. But in reality, when they create that little switch, it might make sense to bring it back in order to take them over and we come full circle to where the Hawks are now the good guys and the Mighty Ducks are the bad guys. I think that could be a kind of an interesting take, but then why would you call it the Mighty Ducks essentially? So that kind of takes away from it as well. But we all know that they can't really be called the Mighty Ducks if there's already a team in this league called the Mighty Ducks. You can't have the same name. Unless, of course, there's this huge falling out in front of the league officials where Gordon Bybe comes walking in and says, I'm going to coach them. I created the name, the Mighty Ducks. This is my team. I'm taking the name back. It's coming with me, this kid and his mother and all this kid's friends. You guys are going to have to figure out a different name. Now, technically, that could get into an interesting argument, but that may be too adult of a moment and that might take a whole episode or even at least 10 to 15 minutes to get that whole thing straightened out unless of course they do a quick cut scene where they cut away the vote comes out and they say yes we voted you get your name back this is your name so we're going to give it to you and we're going to have to rename our team but in a slight twist to that that might be kind of evil in itself to strip these kids who have this name, who have this team name, who have been working and continuing to win under this name to have it stripped from them regardless if they're lacking sportsmanship due to a poor coach. But regardless if it's due to poor coaching or not, that would be wrong in itself. So I guess we're just gonna have to see what really happens. Are they gonna be called the Mighty Ducks? Are they gonna be called something else? Are we gonna see some cameos at some point in the future if this goes on past one season? These are just a lot of questions that we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. But what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Are you excited for this? Are you stoked for this? What are some of your thoughts? What do you think is gonna happen? Are they gonna be called the Mighty Ducks? Are they gonna to have to change the name? Also, don't forget, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification box. If you don't hit the notification bell, you have to be notified of any of these videos in the future. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because this way I'll know that you enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future. Also, don't forget if you want to get all of this news at least one week early, be sure to join up at mighty-ducks.com. The link is right there at the bottom of the screen. And as always, I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.